Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Tuesday. All right guys, well it looks like Andy Cohen is receiving a shit ton of backlash right now and it's not good when it comes to the Real Housewives of New Jersey or any reunion really. Lala Kent and Sheena are also speaking out just a little bit and Bravo Snarkside has the most hilarious post. On top of that, Shanna Bedore reunited with her ex-husband, David. Um, We have a lot to talk about, and it's only Tuesday. So before we get into all of it, you guys know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button, show some love, do all the YouTube things, all the YouTube things, and also check out the comment section because we're going to post the link to tonight's Real Housewives of New Jersey after party. With that, let's jump right in. It's time. For all your binge-worthy pop culture news, welcome to Up and Adam. All right, guys, so we're back to talk about a little bit of Andy Cohen. So what's going on right now is a lot of fans feel like Andy Cohen has kind of hit his wits end when it comes to doing these reunions. They feel like he's popping off that he's snapping that he's coming off a little bit too brash when it comes to the way that he's dealing with bravo talent however i couldn't even imagine being in his shoes trying to wrangle all of the bravo talent i don't know if you guys are watching the same two reunions right now three reunions summer house new jersey housewives and vanderpump rules like the guy has his plate full so i don't think that we should be so quick to judge however that's not going to stop everybody else from doing just that now this is what has been said Andy Cohen is under fire for belittling the Real Housewives of New Jersey cast during the season 13 reunion. Fans of the Bravo reality show took to their Twitter to specifically express their displeasure over the Watch What Happens Live host yelling at Teresa Judice to let Joe Gorga talk in last month's trailer. It's honestly weird to see Andy yell at Housewives, especially Teresa, who has given Bravo so much. One social media wrote with another one agreeing, tweeting, yeah, Andy needs to be put on pause for a while. Not on um, pause. I mean, that's what I'm saying is like a lot of fans are feeling like the way that he's like, let him talk. Shut up. Like all of these moments where he's just like popping off. Fans are a little perturbed and they're like, wait a minute. What is going on? Why are you yelling at them? Why are you yelling at her? What is like, you're supposed to be the host, the calming force, the mediator, the person in the middle who is helping navigate the conversation and helping deliver the narrative without all of the hoopla behind it, without all of the uh, exhausting moments, like we're trying to weed through by using you as the mediator, almost as a therapist for these different reunions, right? Wrong. Okay. More fans accused Andy Cohen of screaming like a maniac and alleged that it's so obvious that Andy doesn't really care for Teresa. I mean, he did say on an episode of Not Skinny But Not Fat with Amanda Hirsch that no matter what he does, he knows that at this point, he genuinely will not make the Bravo fans happy. So at least he knows that. At least he knows it doesn't matter if I am team Melissa or if I'm up Melissa's, you know, butt over here just telling her how great she is or Teresa's or Margaret's, Dolores's, Rachel, Danielle. It doesn't matter if it's Jen Fessler or Jackie Goldschneider. Jennifer Aiden, it could be. But whoever I'm talking to or leaning in favor of as far as like the eyes of the viewers, I will genuinely be doing something wrong, which I agree with him. The producer addressed the massive level of vitriol he has received from viewers on Monday's episode of Andy Cohen's Live on Sirius XM. And he said, Teresa fans are very upset at me for losing my shit on Teresa. Hmm. Andy Cohen recalled being at the end of his rope when he blew his top, but he has since apologized. I think for all of you who are upset, have a seat in the middle of that for eight or 10 hours, and then let's see how you handle it. While the Daddy Diaries author doesn't feel great about the way he acted, he did double down saying, I mean, if you keep interrupting at some point, I'm going to lose my shit. When footage of the argument was first revealed, Andy Cohen compared leading the reunion to being a parent of a toddler. I almost walked off at one point, he said, calling Judice's fight with her sister-in-law, Melissa Gorga, petty and upsetting. Now, we know that the second part of this whole reunion will be featured tonight, and that'll be such an interesting part because we will be back, first of all, tonight on Up and Adam Channel 2 for the Real Housewives of New Jersey after party, and that's going to be amazing. And of course, you guys know tomorrow we will be back for the full Real Housewives of New Jersey breakdown for the full recap, but this is going to be 
wild AF when I'm when I'm talking about this reunion, like the minute that they bring the husbands out, you guys absolutely know that this is going to be a shit show. But hold on. Wait, wait. It keeps going. Now, before we get into the OC of it all, I wanted to share two things really quick because I thought that these were funny. Hold on. As gold. Good as gold. Yes. And, like, I am such a stan for, like, everybody except the Toms and Raquel, which, like, rarely happens where I'm like, I love everybody but just a couple of you. Just this section. Right? right it's here. usually, like, I can't stand all y'all except for one Usually it's I can't stand everybody except for one person, but that one person happens to be three, and that would be the Toms and Raquel, and she's like, oh, yeah, it's all happening. Now, guys, funny story. There's a woman in Los Angeles, and she has this cute little bakery. It's called Sweet Lady Jane, and they have been featured on um, The Ellen Show multiple places, but Sweet Lady Jane ended up posting this they're on melrose i actually got one of my first jobs at sweet lady jane when i started working in los angeles and they have the cutest little cakes but this one obviously pissed off billy lee who is a former castmate of the vanderpump rules franchise it's me billy lee wrote at sweet lady jane cake shop y'all are a cake shop like what the f really what about a cake for mental health because these people are actual humans and make mistakes you are literally profiting off of people suffering what the f are you doing profiting off of people suffering well billy lee it looks like they're trying to make a clever play just like the rest of the people whether it's media outlets the world um fans viewers whoever you want to call it they're all making profits right now off of scandal you know what billy lee since you can't handle the sweet lady jane cake shop of it all let's go over here for a second because as court documents confirmed Davis, David's latest filing, which comes about eight months after his initial divorce filing last September and includes a request for full custody of his and Leslie's two-year-old daughter, Anna, another report shared why Shannon shared a picture of the two of them on her Instagram page. Shannon said on today's Jeff Lewis Live that David came into the quiet woman after she left, so she came back in and took a pic together to send their daughters. And their daughters were really shocked and happy. So then David goes, screw it. I need the followers. So he decided to post it. After Shannon and David's run-in was made public over the weekend and Shannon's social media photo, legal documents obtained by TMZ on June 5th revealed that David filed for divorce from Leslie in late May, citing irreconcilable differences and giving the separation date of May 23rd. Now, this isn't surprising, guys. We have The Real Housewives of Orange County season 17 coming out. We're not surprised about the Leslie of it all, but what we are excited about is to see how Shannon's story is going to play out on the new season and how this looks with John Jansen exiting stage left by the end of the season. Now knowing what we know, but guys go ahead and comment below. Let us know what you think. And more importantly, look in the comment section of this video for the Vanderpump Rules. Just kidding. Real Housewives in New Jersey after party on Up and Adam channel two. Love you guys.